Is DeFi Minds the Pokemon of Web3? What's up gamers? Today we are taking a first look at the game DeFi Minds and I will be answering that question for you. Now, I love Pokemon, and uh, DeFi Mons is attempting to be the Web3 version of Pokemon, which is very cool. Any game that uh, fits that description is going to get at least a little bit of run on the free roll, uh, because we desperately want uh, a new version of Pokemon uh, that pushes the game farther and ideally is on-chain. I am a huge fan. You can check the bona fides here uh, with all those hours played. That's on my Switch. Uh, my daughter and I have completed every one of these games on hers as well. Uh, so the, the number of hours that I have sunk into that franchise is immense. As you can see, it is a 2D pixelated top-down overworld, very reminiscent of the pre-Switch versions of uh, Pokemon or a Super Nintendo version of uh, Legend of Zelda. Very cool, and it is well done. But the most impressive thing about this game for me so far is really more on the technology side, and uh, it is how simple it is to get in. Not only is the game totally free to play, but you just connect an email account to create a wallet automatically and uh, you are right into the game. Super duper simple, just a couple of clicks after going to the website and you're in and playing DeFi Mons. Now, right now you need to have an invite code in order to do that. And so here are uh, the three invite codes that I have active right now. Uh, go ahead and give them a try. Uh, if you're one of the first three to get to them, uh, then they should work for you. Uh, if the, those three are all taken already, uh, hit me up on Twitter or leave a comment below uh, and I can absolutely get more. Uh, and would love to see a bunch of free rollers playing around in DeFi Mons too. The tutorial for the game is quite simple. Uh, you're going to uh, jump into the main town and it's gonna ask you to check out all of the different key buildings within that town. Uh, this is a nice introduction, but you're gonna quickly find that the majority of them are not activated or not fully activated yet. That, that's because we're very, very early. Uh, that said, if you speak to the salesman, he's going to tell you about a mini game called Pandora Run and he's gonna challenge you to beat his top score. Now, his top score is not very difficult to beat, but it still might take you a couple of tries. Uh, that part is relatively simple. That said, the game itself is quite challenging, uh, but it's also uh, simple and addictive. Reminds me quite a bit of uh, Yuga Labs when they launched Dookie Dash. And similar to that event, uh, this one is going to score you a chance to land on the DeFi Mons whitelist if you're able to score high enough. Uh, now, I have not had uh, a very good run just yet. Uh, the game is quite challenging, but I'm going back most days and uh, giving it at least a few tries because it is fun and addictive like I said. I think you will enjoy the challenge here. Once you're done with uh, beating the salesman's top score in Pandora Run, you're gonna be able to continue along and complete a few more quests. I expect that the team is going to continue to add additional uh, mini game based quests along the way. Uh, after the first one, you're going to be challenged to help Uncle Tony find his keys. Uh, Uncle Tony is in the park, uh, and if you talk to him, he'll give you instructions on how to start that mini game. Uh, this one is just as challenging as uh, Pandora Run is. Uh, however, you only need to clear it once, and once you've done that, you can move on. Uh, after that one, you're going to be challenged with another mini game uh, to fill up the fruit stalls. Uh, and this one is pretty similar to finding Uncle Tony's keys. Uh, however, uh, it's not quite as difficult because you don't have to be perfect. And uh, this time you have to do it twice to fill up two different stalls. Uh, but once you're completed with that, you can continue to move on. In addition to the mini game quest, you're also going to be given a series of daily quests every single day. Now, these are all quite simple to complete, uh, minus the invite a new player part, uh, but they earn you some points and uh, they will add up. 
overall, I thought that this playtest was a really interesting one. Uh, there's not a ton here, and it's quite simple so far, but uh, you can see what they're building out, and this gives you a really strong uh, indication as to what the vision of the game is. Uh, now, when you're exploring, you're going to be able to find some patches of wild grass as well as a cave. Uh, there doesn't appear to be anything in there just yet, but the Pokemon player in me uh, wants to continue to go back and check uh, because that is so familiar. I'm excited for when that day comes, and you can definitely count on seeing some additional content covering uh, DeFi Mons from the free roll. Subscribe today if you haven't already, and if you're looking for an invite code, I mentioned it earlier, but uh, hit me up on Twitter or leave a comment below and I would love to hook up as many of you as possible.